አካም ጅርቱ ከበጀም ቶት ጃላተም ቶት ዳወት ቶት አኩ ኢንግሊሽ ዊዝ ኦሮሚክ ኩን አኩ ኢንግሊሽ ዊዝ ኦሮሚክ ማቃንኪያ ሙአዝ ሙስታፋቲ ሀዳ ኢዲኤምሲ ቤዚክ ታን ኢዲኤምሲ ሰዲ ካላሉታ ሶ ስቴው ሚ ወጂን ቱራ አፌራኪ ሶ What up everybody? How are you all doing? This is Aku English with Aromic and I'm Moaz. Today we're going to learn three basic idioms and stay with me till the end. Akam jirtu kawajam tot, jalatam tot, dawat tot, Aku English with Aromic. Kun Aku English with Aromic. Makankiya Moaz Mustafati hada EDMC basic tan. EDMC sadi kalaluta. So stay with me. Wajin tura aferaki so <coughs> let's start from the beginning so the first idiom says that by far by far which means that by a great difference by far by a great difference and sometimes you can say that by a great amount so this shows that the difference of things that you're measuring for example airplane is by far the best transportation airplane is by far the best transportation so now we comparing airplane to all other transportations and we saying that airplane is the best one using what by far we showing that using by far in here that between airplane and other transportation there is a great difference or a great difference or you can say that by a long shot also by a long shot by a long shot so by long shot also means something like by far by far by a long shot so by far means by a great difference so simply whenever you want to say that something is different from something else by a great amount you can say by far by far by a great difference the second example says that finfinne is by far a great city in Ethiopia. Finfinne is by far a great city in Ethiopia. So Finfinne, or you can say Shagar, Adisaba, and if it has another name also, you can say it. So Finfinne is a city, which is the capital city of Ethiopia. So I'm saying Finfinne, or Adisaba, or Shagar is by far, by a great difference, it is a great city in Ethiopia. Compared to what? Compared to other cities in Ethiopia. Okay? So, Finfinne is by far, which means that by a great difference or by a long shed. So, simply you can say by far whenever you want to say by a great amount or by a great difference. Okay, let's see the second one. The second one says that count on someone. Count on someone, which means that to depend or relay on someone to depend or rely on someone is simply says count on someone so simply you can say count on me for example let's see the example the first example says that count on me count on me for example assume that you haven't studied anything you know nothing about uh, what you're going to learn that day and unfortunately the teacher gave you a uh, quiz and you know nothing about it and your friends will say that come on man don't worry about it count on me count on me so simply count on me means what to depend or rely on me he's saying that just rely on me just leave it to me okay so simply you can say count on me count on me so you can say count on me count on her count on them all right count on ahmed count on whoever you want okay the second example says that you can count on our boss to do everything right you can count on our boss to do everything right this means that you can leave it to our boss okay you can just depend on our boss okay so simply you can say count on someone we use it to say that to relay or depend on someone okay 
So today's last idiom is that you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. So this means if you do me a favor, I do you a favor. You do me a favor, in return, I'll do you a favor. Mostly we use these idioms whenever you want to do something for someone, in return, you want him to do something for you. Actually, this is a rule of life, right? Everybody does that. So you can say that you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. I'll do you something and you will do something for me too. Okay? So you can say, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. For example, I will help you with your homework. Maybe the, B, the uh, sister says to her uh, brother, I will help you with your homework. But there is a condition. In what condition? If you do me, if you do the dishes. You see? If you do the dishes. I will help you with your homework. She's willing to help him. But if he did the dishes. At least otherwise, no. You see now? This is she do something for him in return for something else. So this is called, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. And then you can use the idioms, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, which means that we both are even, right? Like I do something for you and you would do something for me. So you can say, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. I. So, idioms in Jalkaba, by far, by far, by a great difference. By far, by a great difference. So by far, jechun, har kamik echun, har kamik. So even afan romoti mu jechama har kamik echun, har kuto sontein har kamik jechun. Garagaruma gudan jechu, right? By a great difference. Garagaruma gudara. Fakenyaf, airplane is by far the best transportation. Ayirin okamo aeroplanein har kamika. Mesha, uh, mesho takawan, okan kan nina konkolata, uh, babura, wanto takawan, wanta transportation if, itifaye dam nuchalechu, harkamik. Okay, now you see, by far, harkamik. So you can say easily by far whenever you want to say, uh, by great difference. Harkamik eroje chuvarvadan, easily you can say by far. I'm the smartest by far, you can say, right? I'm the best candidate by far. So by far, Hakameka, Jechu Rechum. Finfinne is by far a great city in Ethiopia. Finfinne, Hakameka, Magalota, Ethiopia, Kawenchalti. Okay? Hakameka. So simply, Hakameka, Jechu, you can say by far. Finfinne is by far a great city in Ethiopia. Okay, the second one. Idem sin lama famal jela, count on someone. Count on someone, which means that to depend or relay on someone. Count on someone, jechun, namo irre tirka tu hokamo irre isu. Tu mal jedama, count on someone. For example, the first example says that, count on me, narat isi. Okay? Count on me, narat isi. Fa kenya wala ke narat, like, oso un kowatin, mana borumsa reke, korumsa, korumsa rat, so, Oman be ko akan man ta jenna narat isi dan vigyansa. Okay, this example. Okay, so narat isi je chuf. You can say count on me. Narat isi. Okay, you can count on our boss to do everything right. Hogana ke narat isi unnde ta mara inni siri dalaga. Okay, inni siri dalaga hogana ke narat isi. Jin kami walin. Okay, so you can say count on. Our boss, you can say count on our teacher. He will handle it. Okay? Count on our teacher. Count on someone. Count on. And then you add the person. Okay? So count on. The, the third one. Or the last one says that you scratch my back and I will scratch yours. You scratch my back. Scratch it. So you scratch my back and I will scratch yours. Jechun. If you do me a favor, I will do you a favor. Yo tola na oltu, tola si ol. Okay? Yo tola na oltu, tola si ol. Ho an to isi godu, atis wa wei na gotecho. Wa sirra barbad. So that's called, 
You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Even you can understand from the idioms. You scratch my back. Do the hon a hook and I'll scratch yours. Do the key and a hooky, do the case you hooka. Okay? So this simply means that if you do me a favor, I'll do you a favor. Yo tola na olte, anile, tola si ola. Just you simply you can say, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. For example, for Kenya, I will help you with your homework. Hoji mana ke rasi gargar. Okay? I will, hold, I will help you with your homework. Hoji mana ke rasi gargar. If you do the dishes, yo me sha di tu. Okay? Maybe me sha si tu di kueda. Me sha di kued dusan. Inni ho me sha si di ku. Animo hoji mana si hoja de chu. Like big sisters will say that most of the time. Uh, Obreyan. Akas wali njechun dan dan jechun. Ho ati me sha di te. Anima si god. Hoji mana si hoja. Kuma jechun. In return. Ho ati wana go te anis. Was you go to jechun. So simply you can say. You scratch my back. And I will scratch yours. Nula chual ga ga rechun. Anis was you go to atil lewa na gote. Alright. So that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And. Till next time, stay strong, stay safe. See ya.